Hi everyone! Today we are going to create a general purpose gun and bullet nodes that are designed to fit in any project with ease. The project is going to be comprised of only two class scripts, one for the gun and one for the bullet. As always, there are links in the comments for the final version of the code and timestamps to specific parts of the implementation. This video is going to be followed by a video showcasing how to use the scripts to create the game you are seeing in the background. So subscribe if you want to get notified when this video gets published. Let's get started. The bullet script is extremely simple. The bullet is going to be a rigid body with only one variable for the bullet's lifetime. And the only function for this script is fire. The fire function gets the gun muzzle velocity and returns nothing. We first create a timer and connect its timeout signal to the object's Q3 so that the bullet will get destroyed after his lifetime is over. We then set the bullet as being top level so that all the future movements of the bullet are going to happen in global space. Finally, we apply a forward facing force on the bullet which will cause it to move forward. Now we need to handle the gun. We allow the user through export parameters to choose whether or not the gun is automatic. Whether or not to listen to inputs directly in order to fire or to get the fire commands from an outer source. We also allow the choice of the bullet resource, muzzle speed and fire rate. The last part handles the gun sounds. If you set the gun to single fire mode, the fire sound should be a non-looping single bullet sound. The reload sound is going to be played after the cooldown and should also be non-looping. Both of these parameters can be left blank and no sound will play. If the fire mode is set to automatic, the fire sound should be a looping gunfire sound. The reload sound will not play in automatic mode. The other parameters we have are the fire delay, which is going to be 1 over our fire rate, the delay timer, we are going to create it here so that we will not have to make complex scenes whenever we want to use this script. We set a parameter called can fire to make sure when we are in single fire mode that we won't shoot until the delay is over. We then create two fire sound players and those fire sound players are going to play our fire sound and the reload sound. In my ready function we are going to create the delay timer. If we are in auto fire mode we want the delay timer every time it finishes to call the fire function again. This is going to create a loop. We are going to call the fire function. The fire function is going to start the delay timer. When the delay timer is finished it is going to call fire again and we get an automatic fire loop. If we are not in auto fire, we want to wait for the delay to finish. So we are going to call the reload function. The reload function is going to take care of waiting for the delay timer to finish. We then create two audio stream players and we set each of them to have the appropriate sound. Then in our input function, if the gun is set to listen to input, we are going to run this two if statements. Otherwise, we will simply return and ask for some outer object to call those functions themselves. So, if the fire action name, which is also a parameter the user can control, is pressed, we open fire, and whenever we release in auto fire, we stop the firing. This part here is going to break the loop that the delay timer creates. So the open fire is pretty straightforward. If we are in auto fire mode or we finish the delay, meaning can fire is true, we first call the fire function. We play the fire sound and if we want to wait for the sounds to finish, we wait for them to finish and only then continue. The ceasefire function simply 
stops the fire sound from playing and stop the delay timer from running. This will break the loop and stop our automatic gunfire. The reload function is a function that is going to be called every time the delay is finished. So we first stop the delay timer. If we have a reload sound, we play it. And if we need to wait for the sound to finish, we wait. After that, we set the can fire parameter to be true. So now we can fire again and we are stopping the reload sound player from playing. And now for the main function, the fire function. It is also pretty simple. We first test if we have a bullet resource. This is for a case where we want to have our gun. We want to have all the effect and all the functionality, but we don't really need some real world object being instantiated every time we fire. So if we have a bullet resource, we set can fire to be false. We create a new instance of that scene. We add it and we call the fire function with the gun muzzle velocity. We then start the delay timer. And if we are at automatic mode, we are going to call fire again in a loop. Otherwise, we are going to wait for the next call to open fire. And that's it. We will now create a simple example of using this to nodes. I'm going to create a new scene. It's going to be a 3D scene and I'm going to call the top level node world. I'm going to add one spatial node. I'm going to call it gun. And I'm going to attach our gun script. So I saved it under machine gun and I'm going to take the gun script and I'm simply going to attach it. So we will start by using some single fire rifle. We are going to listen to input. The fire action name in my project is called fire. We will create the bullet resource shortly. I want some very slow muzzle velocity because I want us to be able to see the bullets properly. And I want uh, some pretty uh, slow firing rate. So the fire sound is going to be single fire dot WAV. And I like to go to the import tab and just make sure the looping is off. And now I can safely go back to my gun and put the single fire in the fire sound and uh, just for demonstration I'm going to take the reload sound and put it in reload. I'm going to save the scene. I'm going to save it under source. I'm going to create a new folder demonstration and I'm going to save the scene here. So now we need to create our bullet. So I'm going to create a new scene. It is going to be rigid body. And I'm going to take the bullet script and put it on the rigid body. I'm going to give it a lifetime of two. That sounds reasonable. And now we have the, all the control of a rigid body. So I don't want my bullet to have gravity effect on it. So I'm going to set it to zero. And also I don't want friction. So I'm going to set friction also to be zero. I'm going to create a mesh instance. It is going to be a capsule. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and longer. I'm going to create a new spatial material and I want it to have a very bright albedo so we could see it. And also I'm going to use emission again just to make it really pop. I'm going to save it under demonstration. I'm going to call it bullet. And then back in our world scene under gun, I'm going to go to demonstration and take the bullet scene and put it in the bullet resource. Now, for us to be able to see what's happening, I'm going to add a camera, move it to the side, and rotate it so that it is looking at our gun. 
and I'm going to press play current scene which is F6. Now you can see the bullet is very big so the speed is inappropriate here so I'm going to go to my gun and I'm going to set the, velo the muzzle velocity to something higher and run it again. Now to maybe get some better demonstration I'm gonna decrease the bullet size Now if you want automatic fire all I need to do is change auto fire to on maybe decrease the muzzle velocity and sorry the increase the fire rate I'm going to remove the reload sound even though I can leave it here it's not going to play in automatic mode and I'm going to go to our sounds folder and take the machine gun loop and put it in fire sound now I'm gonna run this scene again and when I long press and release I get this automatic fire and that is it in the next video I will show you how to use these nodes we created to make the game running in the background we will also use these nodes in the dogfight game creation series I am making so if any of those videos interest you, subscribe to watch them as they get published. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments and I will respond. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.